1. Sheriff John was patrolling the streets of the small town when he got a call over the radio that there had been a murder. 2. He rushed to the scene, where he found Deputy Tom already there. 3. The victim was the mayor, who had been stabbed to death. 4. There was no sign of the killer, but the sheriff knew that he would find them. 5. He put out an APB and began a manhunt for the killer. The killer was eventually found and arrested. The trial began and the evidence against the killer was overwhelming. The jury quickly convicted him and he was sentenced to death. The killer was executed by lethal injection. The killer's body was cremated. The ashes of the killer were scattered to the wind. The sheriff continued to investigate the case, even though the killer was already dead. He wanted to make sure that justice was served. He went through the killer's belongings and found a journal. In the journal, the killer detailed all of the murders he had committed. The sheriff was shocked to learn that the killer had been responsible for many more murders than he had originally thought. The sheriff passed the information on to the district attorney, and the DA decided to reopen the case. The district attorney reopened the case and continued the investigation. He interviewed the killer's family and friends, and looked through the killer's journal for more clues. He eventually discovered that the killer had been responsible for several other murders. The district attorney charged the killer with these additional murders, and the killer was convicted. The jury sentenced the killer to death, and the killer was executed. The execution was carried out, and the killer's body was cremated. The sheriff and the district attorney both felt a sense of satisfaction after the killer was executed. They had brought justice to the families of the victims and had made sure that the killer would never be able to hurt anyone again. The families of the victims were relieved that the killer had finally been brought to justice. They felt that they could now move on with their lives knowing that the killer was no longer a threat. The sheriff continued to investigate the murders and eventually discovered that the killer had been responsible for several other murders. The district attorney charged the killer with these additional murders, and the killer was convicted. The jury sentenced the killer to death, and the killer was executed. The execution of the killer brought some closure to the families of the victims, and they were able to move on with their lives.